A family rescued from a massive house fire on Detroit's east side. It happened near Outer Drive in Hayes. 7 Ashes reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson tells us what sparked the flames and how the family is doing tonight. I mean, as you might imagine, this has been an absolutely horrible day for the family who lives in this home, even for the neighbors next door. I spoke with one family member who tells me that the 59 year old man is in serious condition from smoke inhalation. There were three other women, two adults and one 16 year old girl in the home as well. They are also being treated for smoke inhalation, but their injuries less severe. Meanwhile, I also spoke with a neighbor off camera who says she could hear her neighbors screaming for help. She called 911 and at one point even thought about running into the burning building herself. Arson investigators say this house fire on Wilshire was accidental, caused by a cooking accident. And when firefighters ran into the home to rescue the four people trapped inside, they say they didn't hear any smoke detectors going off. It's a devastating reminder nobody wants. So Captain Christopher Dixon is asking everyone to take precautions. Make sure that you have smoke detectors, working smoke detectors on every level of your home. Sleep with the bedroom doors closed. And if you do encounter fire and you encounter that heat, heated smoke, make sure you protect yourself by closing the door and getting to a window where maybe the firefighters can uh, evacuate you. Captain Dixon says every year when temperatures drop, the number of house fires rise. So he is cautioning against external heating devices. Well, we normally notice that when the temperature drops, people are using alternative heating devices like space heaters. So it's important if you are using a space heater, we don't recommend that you use it. Don't leave it on all night. Make sure that it is 36 inches away from anything that can burn. Make sure that you don't have children operating them and make sure that you have ventilation if you're using a, a space heater or especially a kerosene heater. Captain Dixon also wants to remind you to make sure you have an evacuation plan and that you practice it at least once a month with your family because when fires happen, it's usually in a moment nobody expects it. Reporting here in Detroit, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.